Hello teachers, welcome back. Imagine you want to build a house that has one story. In years to follow, you also plan to add more stories to the house. Now to build such a house, what is the first thing you will really need to think about? A solid foundation, isn't it? A solid foundation will make sure that even if you keep adding more stories, the structure will remain strong. There will be no fear of it collapsing down. If we apply the same logic to our students, we will understand that the importance of building a strong foundation that is based on deep understanding and mastery of concepts. In this video, we will learn more about mastery learning, which helps us to build that strong foundation among our students. Recently, one math teacher shared her concern about her eighth grade class. While teaching linear equation, she found that most of the students were struggling with the topic. When she dived deeper into the issue, and gave them some questions, she realized that they were not able to solve problems on exponents. Some of the students were not even able to solve problems on negative numbers. Grade 8 students not being able to solve basic problems on exponents and negative numbers seems like an issue, right? Let us analyze why this might have happened. When these students started learning negative numbers in the previous grades, they might have had learned them with some possible learning gaps. For different students, these reasons could be different. As they reached the concept of linear equations, all the previous gaps that remained unaddressed, they took a toll and the students could not understand the topic at hand. When students get stuck like this, we tend to label them and say they need to work harder. We need to note that this is happening because the gaps in student understanding kept accumulating over a period of time. You must be thinking, what is the solution to all this? One great approach is mastery learning, which was first proposed by Benjamin Bloom in 1968. The mastery learning approach aims to ensure that all students have mastered key concepts before moving on to the next topic. If a student does not achieve mastery of a concept, they are given additional support in learning and reviewing the information and then checked for their understanding again. For mastery learning to be successful, you need to do the following things. Identify areas of strength and weakness for students. Carefully sequence topics so that foundational knowledge is developed. Allow students to work at their own pace and monitor student progress and provide continuous feedback. We are going to see how to do this in our subsequent videos in this course. So should we use mastery learning at all? The answer is a resounding yes. Mastery learning helps a student to deeply understand each concept before moving ahead. By using mastery learning, a teacher can work with the students on previous concepts in which they diagnose critical gaps. This way, we can build a strong foundation for our students. Simultaneously, providing constant feedback and support ensures that the student attains mastery. Khan Academy's pedagogy is founded on the tenets of mastery learning because our goal for the student is not just learning a concept, but mastering it. We urge you to watch the upcoming videos to know how you can implement mastery learning for your student using Khan Academy. 